Hey, you're good, mate. Well, I hope you are because in this video, I'm going to show you what a day in the life of an engineering student looks like. In this video, I want to show you how I'm revising for one of my exams next week and put into context of how I'm doing everything and how long I'm revising for during the day and like other various activities that I'm into. It's currently 2 p.m. I started the vlog late, but you know what? We move. My exam next week is for aircraft dynamics and control and the way I'm revising it is I'm currently cramming it so I'm sort of working backwards from the exam paper so I'm looking at the exam question so say 1.1 it says a Cessna T37 what I'm doing is since I have no idea what any of these words mean I go straight to the mark scheme which I have on my laptop on my left hand side which you can't see in the video and then I literally try do the question step by step as if it was a walk walk and talk mock exam so the purple means that's the question that's what's that's the goal of the question yeah but the blue means uh the the cues i.e the steps of what you need to do to find say the natural frequencies and the damping ratios so first i need to find the characteristic equations then I need to find a damping ratio for the short period oscillations and etc 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 and then I find the ratio between those natural frequencies and it's that logical flow and every time I write that down I turn off my tablet like this yeah and then I, I talk myself through the problem and then with a piece of paper or whatever I try to do the question on my own so my tip for you is that if you're in this situation where you didn't revise as much as you wanted to throughout the semester or you didn't uh, you didn't put in enough work right and you're panicking right I want you to slow down for a bit look at your exam papers look at the exam papers read the mark scheme and color code each key step of the way so that and then once you've done that cover it up and then try write the solution just as yourself but don't be too hard on yourself if you get it wrong that's the point yeah if you get it wrong that's where you learn so then when you learn you don't repeat the same mistakes in the real thing and I've done this for my last semester I'm doing this for this semester I did it for last year and my exams I've been getting two ones to close to a first so it's currently 3.15 now I've just done some more questions, uh, but now I'm going to have a meal. Deal. <laughs> <laughs> I went to Tesco and bought a sausage, bacon and egg triple sandwich. And I bought the protein, this one, because it said protein. Uh, I need protein. And I also got this. And should you be drinking a cappuccino at 315 maybe not but I don't know if you've seen my previous videos I have been sleeping late anyway I have been you know but and also I'll be using this is sort of like a a pre-workout because I'm going to be doing uh, deadlifts and pull-ups which is going to require a lot of energy so yeah this is going to be super super helpful and this will help me give me a bit more energy in the tank So at the gym, I did a total of five exercises, but I've only managed to record three of them. The first one, I did deadlifts, then, the, then I moved on to pull-ups, then I moved on into Australian pull-ups, which I didn't record, then I moved on to the bench sit-ups, and then I did another core workout near the yoga section. After the gym, I went straight back home to take a 30 minute break. I had a protein shake and I just watched some anime to help pass the time. And then I did some work afterwards. I always split my work into Pomodoro sessions because it helps me maintain focus throughout the whole day or during the time I revise. And I'm also more focused and I'm more motivated to do the work. And I also, in this section, I stopped doing exam papers and I started making notes from a revision video that was made for this module, which is super, super helpful. And then afterwards, I just had a really late dinner. That is literally my typical day in life. Work. Uh, eat gym work some more then eat more then work some more then work some more chill like it, it, it's it's balance and it all everything adds up to at least four hours of work but since it's crunch time i'm actually spending like six to 
eight hours every day. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next Monday. Hey, you're good mate. Well, I hope you are because in this video I'm going to show you what a day in the life of an engineering student looks like.